Hey YouTube, good evening. Well, it's happened again. I was just talking about this last week, so I hope I'm not repeating myself, but this actually happened uh, where this black woman with um, mental health issues, I think she was taking medication for schizophrenia, was killed in Texas. Now, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know the woman's name. Uh, I got this from secondhand from the Young Turks, and they didn't mention the woman's name, I don't believe. But the name is not important. What's important is that this woman has gotten into a police altercation and the cop killed her. It looks like they were neighbors. So the man was aware of who this woman was, right? He would know if she was violent or not, what her past was, because they live in the same neighborhood. Uh, I don't know if he, if he came up on her or someone called the police on her. But apparently he just suspected she had warrants is the reason for him stopping her, right? She goes off. We already said she's schizophrenic. And uh, he gets in a tussle with her because she won't come along quietly. In this tussle, according to a, a, a witness there, an eyewitness, the, the woman gets a hold of his taser and tases him. And she got some pretty good aim if she's in the scuffle with him and she pulls it out from his body and actually hits his body with it. But at least the taser did seem to go off. When they showed us the clip, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll put the clip in here, uh, the link. I think I'm allowed to do that. But anyway, first of all, why is this cop, I mean, doesn't he know how to secure his weapons? He's This is a woman now, a woman with mental health issues whom he should have been able to to talk her into cooperation, but no, he gets into a physical altercation with her, such as she could reach around, grab his taser, and, and, and tase him. His reaction to her getting a hold of his taser was to shoot her four or five times. He, he shot her to kill her because she grabs his taser. Now, why should she even be able to grab his taser? Isn't a taser something that you shoot from afar? If he, if that would have been one option, if he would have tased her. But no, he shot her to kill her in his moment of anger, because she's got a hold to his weapon. So this brings me to what I wanted to speak about, what I spoke about, I think last week or something, about these people who are calling the police on YouTubers. People don't realize how dangerous this shit is playing with these police officers. This could easily have happened to one of these people who are calling the cops on each other on YouTube. YouTubers, people who live in different states. They don't even live in the same part of the country and they're calling the cops on each other. And I think it really pisses me off because this could so easily happen to a person, particularly a person of color. If cops do show up, and these people who, all the ones who seem to be getting the cops called on them, have all, all been diagnosed with mental health issues, if they were to resist in any way, they could be killed. It's amazing. We don't call police on people for nothing. When you involve the police, you don't know what you're getting into. And particularly when you already know these people are, are, are psychologically unstable. It makes no sense. They make such a big deal out of doxing people. That's when you people call your job or call your church or call your wife, call your husband. But it's okay to call the police. Does that make sense? People, YouTubers are the ones uh, or on ones who I communicate with, you need to get over this idea that you can just go and, and just call the police on people for nothing, for, for on somebody who lives out of state. Always in somebody else's business. Oh, he said that to her. Oh, he said he's, do, he's doxing her. He, that's none of your goddamn business. These cops are nothing to be played with. This man would probably not even lose his job. And if he does lose his job, that's all that happened to him. He murdered that woman. How many, you have to shoot somebody four or five times at 
point blank range that could easily happen to a person who doesn't cooperate or it's just a situation gets out of hand. I was reminded into that because this has happened again. It's happened many times before. This guy obviously knew who this woman was. He lives around her. He sees her probably going back and forth to work every day. He knew she was harmless. He approached her. Maybe he needed his quota for the night. He needed to harass somebody. Or maybe he just don't like that kind of people in his neighborhood. Who knows? This woman ended up dead. You don't call people's jobs. You don't call people's wives. You don't involve yourself in other people's personal business. You don't do background checks on people. I'm talking about YouTubers. All of that is out of line. But the worst, the very worst of all is to call and call the cops on people. You don't do that. You do not do that. You don't know what that situation is. These people, these blowhards get on here talking about, oh, oh, I might have saved a life tonight. Oh, oh he got to be. No, there's nothing funny about it. It is extremely dangerous. And it could happen to you or someone in your family. Think about it. Somebody calls the cops because cause, cause they had a bad conversation on YouTube. Send the police to your house. And I already know you're schizophrenic and bipolar and crazy as hell. Here's another example of what could happen. Leave the police out your business. If you don't want to talk to people online, they piss you off so bad. Don't watch them. Prayers for this, this, this woman's uh, family. I, unfortunately, I don't know what her name is. I, I didn't have that information. God bless her family. Let's hope this dude, it, it, he faces justice at least. At least he's tried. 